Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and review of the brand new 2017 Amazon Fire TV 4K. Just got the box in the mail and I want to share with you guys what's new, how does it look like, obviously the form factor that changed from last year, but not only that, it's supposed to be really good and a very, very small footprint. This is TK, let's check it out. Here's the box, Fire TV with 4K and the assistant voice uh, remote. And I'm not going to say her name only because it, obviously it's going to initiate everybody. Is. Um, it is made by Amazon, of course, 4K Ultra HD with HDR. So it's going to get a much better implementation of uh, really good colors on this, especially if your TV supports it. Uh, the new form factor, as you guys notice, it's a much, much smaller form factor, kind of almost like a Chromecast, I want to say, because of the, the way they set it up. And we'll definitely get a chance to check that out. And it does come with a remote that has the ability to basically use the assistant by initiating the microphone. Here's a list of some of the supported services, but again, if you've used Fire TV before, this is no new, no news to you. All of these services are supported, and uh, in the box, what we're going to get is the actual third generation Fire TV, uh, the assistant voice remote, two AAA batteries for the remote itself, power adapter for the actual dongle, as well as the USB cable to connect to it. Uh, and then what's needed, obviously, it's a high-speed internet access for 4K content, an HDTV with an HDMI, HDMI uh, input, an Ultra HD TV with 4K content. Obviously, we have the assistant here. Uh, we have a 4K Ultra HD HDR for high dynamic range. I'm not sure why they're spelling it. We do have Dolby Audio quad-core processor on the, uh, in here. And then, of course, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. And the box has a little tab right there. By undoing it here, we can open it up. Here we are. Uh, so the box itself is very you know, laid out lengthwise. Uh, here is the new. Um, here it is. Wow. It, it, I'm kind of surprised on how small they made it, really, because I'm used to the Fire TV and I've had ones in the past where they were just basically big boxes, and they're able to fit everything they need on a small form factor. So let's go ahead and take out the plastic. And of course, the secondary plastic, because you got to have more plastic on plastic. And here it is, the Amazon Fire TV 4K. Now, this is the third generation, as we mentioned, and you notice that the dongle itself is actually connected via a, a kind of a rubberized uh, HDMI cable that's connected right here. And it's pretty much set. Let me see, is it magnetized? No, they didn't copy that part. Uh, but again, it's very, very nice. It does have a little bit of weight, so I'm a little bit concerned on this, even though Amazon says this is going to be fine. Um, and of course, on the bottom, we have the micro USB connector for the power, which is going to be using the other cable that came with it. Uh, next thing here, we just have some information, Fire TV, some commands you could use with the assistant that they have. And of course, uh, installing the batteries on the remote and all the good stuff that we really didn't need to do. Next thing we have is... Here is the USB cable, looks pretty decent. I think it's about, yeah, I would say about maybe three feet. So not bad, nice length on the cable itself, should be good for us to be able to hook this up. That's basically a mess now. Uh, and of course, here is the brand new remote. And here are the batteries. Uh, they didn't actually, they were sitting in a in small pocket back there. So very simple, one, two, and it's set. Just align it put it in. And if you're familiar with the Fire TV remote, this is, should not be any uh, new thing to you guys. So we have the play back and uh, skip forward, skip fa backwards, back home and uh, menu option, of course, directional with a single click in the middle and then initiating the microphone. So pressing and holding this will enable the microphone for us to be able to do any uh, questions or requests for the assistant or looking for shows. Very simple. Let's go ahead and hook it up to the TV and see what we have. I went ahead and connected the Fire TV directly to my 4K monitor or TV here. This is a Samsung uh, 40 inch TV. The simple instruction is it's already configured to your account. You just need to log into it uh, by just giving it access to the Wi-Fi. It did download an, uh, an actual, uh, just a one quick update and installed it. And then when I went through the installation, it asked me if I wanted to install additional apps. And when that's what the DirecTV app is, YouTube app, Hulu app, I installed those. Uh, Netflix needs to be downloaded from the cloud. There's music, Photo Prime, Hulu, Sling, all those additional ones you can download. Of course, Sling application here. Uh, you have the ability, of course, to access all of the Prime video libraries so that if you have a Prime membership, you can access all of those. And of course, the other benefit is the fact that it's super fast and super quick. Now, this is going to be a lot faster than when you're used to using with a Fire TV st a stick, if you ever use that, um, because this one actually is running on a quad-core processor infrastructure and it has a lot more RAM and definitely a much, much better uh, just UI overall because of the setup the way it is. Uh, the categories are very simple. We have home, your videos, movies, TV shows, apps, and then settings. Uh, settings are pretty simple. 
laid out in the way that we've used to seeing it. This is just updated to the latest UI. We have notifications, we have network, we have access to display and sound. So if you need to adjust your display applications, of course, to install and uninstall controller or the remote control that we're using, which is what I have right now, as you guys could see me here with the background now that it's a light color. Uh, of course, we have preferences, the device, accessibility, help, and my account. Uh, but of that, going back to the main home screen, you're pretty much set. Uh, accessing your data, if you've ever actually had the applications installed. So this is from the previous installation. So I just need to go in here and I can download and then I can use the options here as download it. Uh, you own it and just download it. So you can download it directly. Uh, and of course, the other thing you want to be aware of is you can actually sideload applications directly from Amazon's website. So you can find an application there and then just direct it to install and it will install for you on your device. Uh, I like the fact that it's super simple to use. Now, unfortunately, there is no USB connection, so we cannot sideload things using that way. Uh, but there are methods on the market. So if you go in and download, let's say, ES File Explorer, you're able to wirelessly transfer data over using ES File Explorer and using uh, download links using the browser that's built in to sideload applications. Let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in and I can definitely check that out for you guys. Seems like they've loaded the YouTube TV application here. So this is the official YouTube app. So you're able to basically just use it. Very simple, very easy to use. The new form factor definitely makes it a little bit easier to mount behind a TV and not have to worry about running two cables in. You just have to run the USB cable and if you have a power source in there, you're pretty much set. Not that much, you know, the wires are very easily manageable. Um, and I think the form factor and the fact they borrowed some stuff from the you know Chromecast in, uh, implementation, I think it's definitely very nice. Uh, and this is a happy medium between a Fire Stick and a Fire TV because the Fire Stick isn't powerful enough, but the Fire TV has a lot of power in it. And of course, now we have 4K HDR, Dolby Audio, and a lot of good things in it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is a very small, very nice uh, you know implementation of the Fire TV. And hopefully we're able to still keep it and shrink them down as time goes on. And this becomes a more viable option for travel as it's much easier to take with you. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.